Boys, today we are playing Timo Sejuani. Yes, again, I know my last video is also on Timo Sejuani, but so is this one. New patch, new me, new Timo Sejuani. Hush has been nerfed, which hopefully means that we will not want to claw our eyes out when playing against that deck. Uh, and by that deck, I mean anything to do with Targon. Basically, the idea is the cards with Overwhelm with the Ursine are going to work more often. Timo will not get hushed, and we will be able to play Sejuani to have her effect go off as well. Kind of the idea, I know it's sort of Lisa in meta, so what I decided to do with that is take out all of the Heal Man cards and instead Red Archer. That was kind of the idea, and I wanted to try out Tol uh, Troll Chant, so we're running that as well. That's basically it. Deck is about the same. Also wanted to run one Babbling Bjerg. Uh, core, again, maintains basically the same identity we've been running for the past however long for Timo Sedge. We'll see how it goes. That's about it. Okay. Lee Sin. We are about to see the beast that is Lee Sin, gentlemen. I, I don't know about the Seer Keep, honestly. I think it's fine. The card's good. If I think about what I really want... Seer is usually out there. It's just like a Seer, man. The card's just sweet, it's friendly, you get a little guy and an owl. Like, what could go wrong? Attack and play the spoils. I mean, the game's going well so far. I can't really complain, but I mean, this guy just holds mana and plays stuff. Like that. Kind of juicy. Master yourself, master your enemy. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. Okay. Oh. I have a level up demo. Play the one first so I get the clouds and then go Teemo, flip them, do four damage. Uh, be kind of good. Definitely a scripted draw there. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Imagine sending a card that isn't Teemo here. Hilarious. This guy actually thinks I don't have a Teemo. Can't imagine, dude, honestly. That's uh, 32 shrooms, yeah. I think. Can't even draw one. Come on, bro. My lands need me. So instant attack starts to kill a Teemo here, but little does he know I have elixirs in my back pocket. Cool. Doing well. You're in over your head. Our enemies cannot hide. I will not hold back. What's up, you this guy? Just iron iron as well, it's gonna find. I prefer it more honestly. This is damage now though, is the only issue. I don't think it really walks into too much though. Good be back. This the cards live. That's a shroom. Nice. We are one off, side slip? Yeah. So if he draws a shroom next round, then I play Sedge and I can Mystic his face and he's flipped. So we're kind of just good. Oh, that's an 8-8 Puffcat Peddler. I still think I play Sedge over my 8-8 Puffcat Peddler, as funny as it sounds. And with that, and we might actually have some lethal here. It's kind of gross. Okay, well, I guess Timo said Juani is just better than the, the new and improved Lee Sin. They're gonna see Bastion. 
That's one of the ones I want to see him play because that card seems really, really stupid. But uh, I'll definitely take the dub, man, for sure. GG's. Shen Fiora. Still a thing, huh? Okay. Static should be good because they run so many barriers. It's kind of a weird full keep, though. They also have just ways to kill, like, kill the team with challenges. So, like, he's not actually that great. But I'm on odds. And I have Teemo, so I'm going to play Teemo on turn one on odds, so... There's really not too much to say. Also, this guy's really committed to the role play, huh? Demacia Cardback Gamer. I don't know about that, but okay. Chance actually kind of good here. Legitimately decent. Hey, Gmo Smash, you yo, done, yo. yo, 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 what's good? How you done? Do we go Hawk or do we go Troll Chant? I think here it's Hawk. I'm pretty sure it's Hawk here. Reason being is I can play the Seer plus Troll Chant X rounds and get the buff unit here if we want. Take it. You shot me. Reader, nice buff by the way. Big LMAO. Hit the attack button before you play stuff. Chant is always good. I don't know about always. It's a little bit expensive, right? It's just hard to play, I find. You may throw up Fiora down now. Because I only have two. I can't, like, throw more or anything. No pass. Okay. So he's one spell mana. Uh, sure. I can just, uh, freeze this card. Should be fine. It's maybe not the best here, but I think it's good enough to play. Could have also just been that it's like better to play iron instead of this, so I could get value from the series here as well. Take the damage, I think. It's fine. I just attack with everything and let him kill one of my series. I don't really care. Can also troll chant if we want to keep it alive, but I think they just, uh, you know, attacking in here and getting the damage in is much, much more valuable than greeting. The Jerg is okay. Problem with the buffs is I can actually draw like a, um, a buffed Ur sign if I play uh, enough irons here or like the iron slash troll chant, any of them actually. Because uh, it'll buff one of my top unit by a plus 2-2. Two, two. Then like even something like Archer could have 5 attack and be tutored with the Bjerg. It is not a barrier yet, effect. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Absolutely insane. Okay, we hit the button. Dang. Good flip. Not actually insane. I mean, it's nice that we got a hit with him for three rounds, obviously, but it's not like it's really doing that much because we didn't get like a leveled up hit. It's usually way better when you flip him and then attack. Oh no, you sorry. Oh no. It's a nice draw. You should open here. If only we could actually clear. My father's the flip? Our wills That's a massive flip from. Actually huge. I'm going to sedge the 4-3 and then just attack with a team next round, I think. Pain is it's too good. The one with clouds are really nice as well, but I think this is just much better. Obviously, you can have a barrier, but it's not like it's going to really matter. The big deal is if he has another elusive unit. Okay, not elusive. I can play Troll Chan if I need to here. We're fine. Can reduce to 8 and make this have 8. So she dies. No matter what. Yep. Unlucky. If he draws Shroom, I can just Tusk Reader and get another one though, which is cool. 
And then we're also at uh, it's five out of five, so she flips when we play. Nice, that's big. More Teemos. Okay. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, relax, please. Oh, man. Uh, this card still lives, I think. Oh, hello. It's kind of big. 14-16. Okay. Yeah. Kind of massive. I find them unworthy. So 7-3, I go Troll Chance. I mean, I'm not even going to be able to connect with this. This is actually wanting to just send me the game now. So it's not even like this actually matters that much anymore. Because I literally just play like a 15-17 a Sajuani that will attack his 5-2 and then just like kill him with overwhelm damage here. So it's kind of just whatever. Can value block and just send one one here. Should we just kill a Shen and then have 2-2 two, two die and kill that? That might be just a little bit better maybe. Maybe also losing the team is bad and I could have like troll chanted to get another plus 2-2 two, two buff. But I mean, I'm not going to be able to really hit in with the Teemo anyways with two of these up, so I don't think it's actually of relevance for the most part. No Shroom Drawn Trusting. So I just kill the 2-1. I mean, like, he can combat and stuff, but it's not going to matter, I don't think. To kill the card off. Oh, a barrier. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. What are we going to do? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> a barrier. <laughs> oh, get goofed, man. Let's go. Timo said, still popping, boys. That's what I'm talking about. 